guitar is Dennis Tafe, and I'm in my home studio, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Bargain Bin Gear. And this time around, we're going to look at a really compact multi-track recorder from Boss, and it's called the BR-80. Or if you like, the Micro BR-80. Alright, now it, it's a multi-track recorder. And let me tell you how this came about. Um, as I told you in the last episode where we looked at the Jimmy Fuzz, um, uh, my friend in Indianapolis was basically um, letting go of some of his gear that he wasn't really using or that kind of thing. And he asked me, well, are you interested in this little, you know, micro recorder? And I was thinking, no, oh, yeah, okay, sure, you know, not thinking much of it. You know, I figured it'd be like one of those old school, you know, little voice recorders. You could hardly tell, you know, if you spoke into it, you could hardly tell what the, what the voice was saying. You know, but I said, yeah, okay, sure. The price was great, uh, used price. So I figured, well, I don't have anything to lose. Now, uh, when it arrived, I saw, wow, this is kind of cool. It's about the size of a calculator here, right? And what I discovered is, uh, well, very first thing, I discovered that the, my friend Jitmy, right, I'm going to ask for a full refund. I want my money back. Because look, he never mentioned this. You see that? Right there by the sticker. I'll be darned if that's not a little dent. Okay. No. I'm just teasing. It doesn't really affect anything. So I thought, wow, this is really kind of interesting looking, you know. But usually, you know, little tiny units like that that are full of features, you know, are way too complicated to use, you know. You've got to dive into tons of menus to do anything, and, you know, just I've had bad experiences with that kind of stuff. So I really didn't think much of it. Um, however, um, Supposedly, it was a multi-track recorder. And, you know, usually recording, in a way, is kind of a complicated process, especially these days. For digital recording, you usually have, you know, a digital audio interface box, you know, that goes into a computer, and you connect that to a mixer or microphones. You know, and that kind of thing. So there's tons of cables running all over the place. You know, especially to try to get a decent sound. So I kind of just passed over this little unit and thought, ah. You know, couldn't be any good, really. Um, and how wrong I was. It turns out it's actually one of my favorites. Now, I mean, I just love this thing. I think it's the greatest thing. Um, and here's why. Uh, this has three different modes. Okay, it has a mode where you can load up MP3. It's an MP3 player. You can load up MP3s and play along with them. You know, um, that's the first mode. The second mode is multi-track, eight-track recorder, hard to believe. And the third track, which is the simplest of them all, is just live recording. And it has a built-in SD card. Okay, and that little SD card um, can be a, up to a 32 megabyte, or 32 gigabyte card, I'm sorry. Right? And so it'll hold something like, you know, 500 hours of recording or something like that. And on top of that... It's a stereo recorder, digital stereo recorder, right? 
can record to WAV or MP3 format. And the MP3 format is really just to save space. You know, um, and I've listened to both, and the quality is just incredible. Uh, and built-in microphones. Now you would think, oh, built-in microphones. Yeah, I've heard that before. Right? They're a little cruddy. You know, little tiny <laughs> microphones that aren't worth a darn. No. These are high-quality condenser microphones. Okay? And they record in stereo. So I was really intrigued. I go, man, maybe this thing could... You know, record well, I don't know. Um, runs on two AA batteries. And, you know, you'd think, oh, well, you get an hour out of that. Not at all. I mean, two batteries last a very, very long time. You know, I mean, for me, several days so far, you know. Um, so, now it can run, you know, with an optional power supply. And it had all kinds of other features and things. So let me tell you, here's what happened. I want to give you my real world experience and why I like this thing so well. Uh, for the price, you know, I paid for it. I thought, well, man, this has got to be a toy, you know. Kind of a throwaway toy. But not at all. Um, and we'll, we'll get into the price here later. Um, so it's got three modes. So the one I'm focusing on today, which is why it's part one, is the live recording mode. Okay? There are two other modes. So it's like almost three different units in one. Right, but here we're just going to look at the live recording mode. So just as a test, I wanted to just try it, you know. So I was in my living room, you know, watching the news, and, um, oh, I had my acoustic handy. It wasn't even plugged into anything, you know. It has a pickup, but it wasn't plugged in. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just try it and see. And um, I'm going to play that for you right now. This is the first ever recording I did with this unit. And, in fact, if you listen closely, you can hear the kind of TV in the background. So this was just a test. So you can hear it here. So I wasn't really expecting much. Okay, so I listened back to that, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, th this might be really something very interesting, something really good. I was kind of taken aback by the sound quality. Now, to listen to it, you know, you've got to hook it up to an amplifier or headphones, which is what I was using, you know. Um, so I did a recording, and I was like, wow, wait a minute, this could be really good. Um, so I tried another, and I'll play that for you here. Um, and here, same thing, you can kind of hear the TV and things. And as I recall, yeah, if you hear that. should be good enough there. Give you an idea. Alright. So here I was really like, wait a minute, this could be really, really neat. I mean, this is without the guitar even plugged in. And where's that cruddy hiss that you used to hear in those little 8-bit, you know, audio recorders? It just was, wasn't there. I mean, the sound quality was really great. And I couldn't believe it. I'd go, man, maybe you could get 
album quality recordings out of this thing. Um, so next I tried um, just plugging in the guitar directly and recording that way. You know, and it does. However, um, I think you need to turn off the, uh, the microphones to record that. So I tried that. Okay. So here I really started to get a little excited here uh, about this little unit. I go, man, wait a minute, this could be really, really cool. You know, um, and I started thinking, man, the possibility of this recorder can really be that good. You could actually record album quality tracks, right? And so I was thinking, man, if I could do that for my living room, that would be awesome, right? Uh, and, you know, in my living room, I don't want, you know, a ton of amplifiers, recording interfaces, and microphones everywhere. You know, and I'll tell you, I've tried it, and it gets cluttered really, really, really quickly. So the simpler, the better. And I couldn't think of anything simpler than this. So I took this little unit and just put it against my amp that I have in the living room. It's a gigantic um, PV Stereo Chorus 212. And so I ran that through uh, my acoustic, which has a Fishman pickup. And I just laid this little unit, you know, right along the side of it. And, um, well, here are the results. And I was blown away by the sound. I go, man, that almost sounds like album quality. So let's take a listen to it here. Now keep in mind, you know, I mean, I was just messing around and testing it, you know, which I often, you know, when I'm playing the acoustic in the living room, you know, I'm just trying to come up with ideas and things. So take a listen to this. So here it is. This is the boss picking up the PV. Keep in mind, you can hear that TV in the background. So it was like an instant stereo recording. keep going here there's a couple more so then um, just out of curiosity I switched it to mp3 mode where it records in mp3 format rather than wave format and by this time I really was kind of interested to see man what kind of sound quality can I really get out of this little unit right and so I turned the TV off <laughs> or at least the sound off as I recall and started messing around with that, and let's take a listen to that. Um, now keep in mind, you know, I'm just in my living room with the acoustic there playing. You know, if I play for a while, my, my hand will go uh, fall asleep and I'm not able to fret any longer. arm is supporting my weight as I'm laying on the couch. So I started coming up with ideas of this acoustic. And I've had this part for a little while. Okay. And we'll go right to the next one. And so by this time, I was getting really excited. I thought, man, the sound quality is unbelievable. I mean, this could really, I could actually do an album. You know, that was my idea, was to be able to do an album of acoustic 
tracks and things, right? Doesn't not doesn't have to be acoustic. You know, I mean, I can hook up a looper and pedals and even an electric guitar. Same thing. And man, it'd be like an instant album quality recording from my living room. While I'm sitting on the couch, that's hard to believe. Okay. Uh, now, here, as I recall, I think it slipped out of my hands, the guitar, after a while. And so here I'm trying it again. You know, and coming up with ideas to see what it would sound like. super excited because I know I'm going to be able to do an album using this tiny little recorder, you know, and, and the sound quality would be really good. And so this is it. This is the raw, you know. Now keep in mind, these are just ideas, you know. I'm going to go back and try to record them a little better, you know. But this was just my initial testing and discovering this unit. And one thing I should mention is how simple it is to use, at least in this mode. And I'm going to go over the other modes. Okay. So here are just little harmonics. And this this will be a track on the album for sure. Not this particular one, but a version of it. Because I like that idea right here. Again, why, as I 
just had it laying down. Eventually, my you know my hand uh, fingers go to sleep, and I can't fret anymore. So I know I need to you know change positions on the couch, you know, to um, get some circulation back into my hand. <laughs> Also hearing, you know, the buzz from the lights that I have right here. It's just a little camera sound, and then the, unfortunately, the fan of the computer here. Yeah. So by this time, I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking of ideas for tracks and things. acoustic guitar um, to me sound it sounds like a really expensive guitar you know real album quality recording but in reality it's a real cheap guitar you know the J Tercer Jr. I mean it's like a hundred dollar acoustic or whatever but it sounds real good I think especially through this little box unit Fingers starting to go to sleep here. And you can hear my phone, you know, I'm beeping and stuff. But it was fine just to do a test with it. Here's what's interesting. I just I fell in love with this unit. I think it's really fantastic. And amazing to get this kind of sound quality out of this little thing. And in fact, so much so, there's a little jog wheel right here. You know, this little silver jog wheel. And um, as I played these tracks back, you know, I could just switch from one to the other using the little jog wheel. Um, and as far as functions go, while there's a ton of them, it is really simple to use. I mean, you have a record button, a stop, play, rewind, fast forward. And even the, it can actually select a, a part of the track that you recorded. And you set a start position and an end position. And it'll loop that position just by hitting this little button here. Super simple. You know, and made me a, really a believer in this unit. And on top of that, um, so I had a lot of fun doing that. And the, the potential of it is really fantastic. Now, um, what I did then is I wanted to transfer the tracks over to my PC, right? On my digital audio workstation so I could edit tracks and that kind of thing, you know, to create a CD or what have you. And it turns out it is so simple to do. Got a little USB cable, plug it into the unit, into the computer, and it shows up as a little um, hard drive, right, on your computer, you know, and lists the files there, and they're right there, Wave, MP3, you know, and... So it was easy. I just copied them over to my computer hard drive, and that was it. And, and what was interesting about that is just as if I had recorded on my big setup, you know, in my, in my studio room, um, I could then take the files and just edit them, you know, and do you know, simple mastering uh, for the file. And you can hear it here. I did one kind of raise the levels a little bit so this is the final product you know pretty much what you'd get if you were you know to create an album track uh, of course there you know i'm moving around and things 
So I still have to edit it and things. And you can hear it here though. These are of course just recording ideas. Truth be known, you don't really need to do that um, because, you know, the original track recording is about as good. Now, what this also means is um, that any, you know, concert recording or whatever, if you're playing concert and you want a recording of it, you know, and pick up the, the live sound and everything going around, this would be great for that and picks up the sound so well and it's a quality sound you know real clean no hiss and that kind of thing uh, in fact I wish I had this when I was three years old you know when I was reciting the complete works of Shakespeare of course no of course just kidding no but really um, you know and this would also be great if you want to record an interview, you know, or, um, you know, at a class, you want to, you know, get, pick up the, you know, the teacher speaking or what have you. This would be fantastic for that kind of thing. In fact, they call it, you know, it's a field recorder as well. But I found for the live recording, this is just outrageously good. Uh, a lot of fun and very simple to use. Um, I, I haven't gone into the two other modes because it has things like built-in effects, multi-track recording, built-in drum machine. I mean, it's a really, it's a complete studio in a little tiny box like this, you know. And if anything, at the very least, you know, recording ideas. It's great for that. Or drafts, you know, you want to see how something sounds. Or that kind of thing, you know. So a great composition tool, writing tool. But for me, the most exciting part of this is a simple way for me to get album quality recordings on my acoustic guitar, you know, in my living room. You know, and sometimes I come across stuff that, oh, this sounds good. You know, and then, psh, you know, two minutes later, I forget about it and forget it later on. So this would be a good way of keeping track of that as well. But I'm really going to try to do an album of basically BR-80 acoustic. And I really like the sound of it, you know. And there are definitely other features and so on, and I'll cover those, you know, as I go along. So this is just part one, and here we're looking at the live recording mode, you know. Um, I just uh, wasn't prepared uh, about the sound quality, of how good the sound quality was. 
you know, and now, man, this has just been a real joy, you know, to, uh, sometimes, you know, if you stay up late and you know, just want to record a little bit, and then, you know, come back in the morning, put some headphones on and take a listen to what you recorded, it's really great, it's a fun experience, um, and as you'll see here, the screen turns on and it's just a really nice, well laid out unit. And here it's loading up, you know, right there it is. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll hit play here. There you can see it's actually moving right there. You know, so it's got VU meters and the time, that kind of thing. Also has, a, I believe, a built-in metronome. Which is real handy, you know, for recording, tempo-wise, and I think it has a tuner. I've never actually, yeah, it does. It has a tuner. Never actually tried the tuner yet. Um, and you know, I've never read the manual. I should, and I will. Uh, but it was so easy to um, start recording with it, you know, and figuring it out was so easy. You know, it's kind of matter of fact, common sense. You know, and that's very rare for this kind of unit that packs so much stuff, you know. Usually you've got to delve into tons of menus just to try to do one thing. You know, and in fact, while this is a boss unit, I have some older Roland recorders and they're very much like that. You've got to go through menus. It's pretty complicated. Here, this was just a breeze to record with, you know, and just to be able to do a stereo recording of that kind of quality is really fantastic, and so much fun, you know, to be able to capture, you know, stuff I'm just noodling around with in my living room, you know, now granted I've got to turn the TV volume down, you know, or else it sounds kind of like, you know, you've got a TV in the background. <laughs> You know, kind of like the Pink Floyd, The Wall recordings, right? You know, so. Okay, so there you go. And um, I, I looked up the price of these. And brand new, these units go for about 250 250 bucks. So they're definitely, it's no, no toy, you know, as I mistakenly thought. Um, and used, I've seen them for half that price. So really, um, highly, highly, highly recommended. It's a lot of fun, very easy to record ideas, and, you know, if you're working on a mode, you really want to hear what it sounds like, you know, you could record one track playing, you know, just a rhythm part, you know, or kind of like you know, a bass line or something, and kind of solo over it live while you're playing, you know, the recorded track, that kind of thing, you know, so tons of, of uses, but uh, the main one being live recordings and their quality recordings, I mean, good enough for, for album use, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Now, I suppose, granted, you know, if you're doing a, you know, $250,000, uh, you know, major label project, you know, uh, or something like that, or you've got a, you know, million dollar budget or something, maybe, you know, you'd want to do a little better than this. But really, not necessarily, because I really think the sound quality, I was... I, I, I was impressed with the, you know, when I played the acoustic unplugged and recorded with it. But man, when I hooked up that amp and then heard the recording, you know, with that, and it's picking up that stereo ambience, uh, you know, the, the, the reverb, the long delay trails and those kinds of things. You know, that's when I was really sold on it. Um, and to me, it really makes my little acoustic sound pretty darn good. 
you know, which is surprising, you know, considering that's kind of a cheap guitar, you know. And I guess that Fishman pickup, it's a rare earth pickup, I think they call it. Uh, it's a humbucking pickup, it's really great on there. So I'm really glad I got to show you this and um, basically because I had those recordings which were the very first recordings I ever did on this unit and this was like what two days ago or something you know um, and that's how I became all excited about this unit you know um, and the fact that you really can I, I'm going to do that I really am uh, and I'm coming up with ideas now in fact doing little sketches and listening back and saying ah oh, this sounds pretty good you know so I'm definitely going to try to do an album of just acoustic you know micro BR80 recordings and, and I've also not yet you know hooked up a looper or an electric guitar I even tried live recordings of that you know or delve into the multi-track you know where you record one track and rewind it record another track and so on and so on you know up to eight tracks at a time mm. so really impressed uh, if you run across one of these man I, I would grab it you know um, a lot of fun and quality recordings and a compact unit and it's not gonna clutter up your room you know whatever room you're in I mean I can stick this in my pocket you know and just have some little earbuds and go just about anywhere um, either record or at least listen back to the recordings I've done and that kind of thing you know so that's really fantastic and if you're doing any kind of film or that kind of thing you know or or you want to pick up you know a lecture or interview someone this is a great way of doing it you know and I was stunned by the sound quality of it so there's there it is the boss micro br80 multi-track recorder little tiny unit um, highly recommended all right see you next time okay bye